Hey guys, Bucky here. I'm on vacation for my day job this week. One of the things I wanted to do, since I'm also a blogger in addition to a video guy, is I wanted to be able to sit in the backyard next to the pool blogging, writing my blogs. So my first day of vacation, I got my trusty Samsung out. This has been everywhere with me. Put it in the backyard, open it up, nothing. So I plugged it in, ran the cord in, said it was 100%, still nothing when I unplugged it. Even with power and hooked into the Wi-Fi, nothing. Disturbingly, even though I've had it for years and years, it died. Oh, what to do? So I did what any red-blooded American would do. I went online with shopping. Now, mind you, this Samsung's been stellar. I'll miss it a lot. But most of my stuff, I either use a phone, tablet, or my main computer. Now, I don't game with my computer stuff like that. I just process stuff. Every now and again, my process a video, but nothing serious hardcore. So I don't require a $3,000 laptop. Uh -uh. One of the things I wanted to have was a two-in-one that could separate. I wanted a solid state drive, a decent sized screen, keyboard numbers on the side, and it needed to be fast. And I wanted to make the jump now to Windows 11. So I went online and went to walmart.com. I know, bought a computer from Walmart. Did you really, really? Yep, I sure did. Let me introduce you to my new friend, Len Ovo. His name is Len. Last name Ovo. Len Ovo. I ordered it. I got it from Walmart one day. Did I mention I wanted it now? Here, let's see what we got. Way big box. Now, this didn't come from a Walmart seller. This came from Walmart themselves. All right, tear that open. All right. Seems to be pretty well packed. Not really sure how I can do this one-handed. Get it on out, it's well protected all the way around. Pull off little doodads, them there protected. Right, get it out of the bag. Lenovo. I'm gonna refer to him as Lenny. Seems to be very well packaged. I got the blue one. Up. Pull that doodad out. Plug this bad boy in. This thing's huge. Look at that. Now that there goes in the side. Okay, I went through all the setup stuff. It's now shut back down, it's come back up. Got a fingerprint thing here to get into it. Works less than optimum. I had to set up a pin too. It doesn't recognize me. It's telling me to use different bringer. I got a finger for you. It's right there in the middle here. The 256 gigabyte solid state drive. I'm totally on board with that, but I found one with a 512 gigabyte for less money. A little bit smaller screen. Now, after I bought this computer, I started thinking about it. I'm like, ah, did I make the right move? So I went online, started looking at reviews, a lot of negative things had to be said about it. All the speakers sound tinny. If you're listening to music on your laptop, there's something wrong with you. You can't really see the screen in the sunlight. I can count on exactly one finger how many times that would have been an issue for me in my life with a laptop. I got good sized hands that want you to see this screen. That's huge. It's got a pretty good processor, 2.4 gigahertz. I think it's a quad core. And like I said, I'm not gonna be gaming or anything. Now, so you know, it comes with Microsoft Edge as your default browser like any Microsoft product would. And this is Windows 11. And the computer fought me all the way down the line trying to install Google Chrome and use that in place of Microsoft Edge. Now, I'm sure Microsoft Edge is a great browser to blah, 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 blah. But, like anyone who knows anything about computers and been doing it a long time, you get a little gun shy about using a Windows type browser. Now, so far, everything that Lenny here has done has been astronomically fast. But that's where they kind of get you, too. Every computer's blazing fast when you first get it. By the way, these are your instructions. Basically, it says plug it in, turn it on. So far, so good. I'll let you know how it goes. This is mighty big, though. I always felt like my Samsung was like a dinosaur in size. Like, hey, look at Grandpa's giant computer. Well, this one's even bigger, but I like it.